Hey everyone, this is iPod Touch Red. I'm sure to get um, ROMs for your iPod Touches NES emulator. Hooray! Hey, it's my iPod. There it is. I'm gonna go into Cydia. Search. You're going to search for the following. Once it reloads. N. Capital N. Capital E. Capital S. Space. E. M. Just like that. Then the thing should pop up. Nice. When I just go on to that. Where it says modify, it will say on mine, um, install, no, uh, well, mine says modify, it will say install, then it will go and confirm. After, now you need to get the ROMs for it. Um, before you do this, you need to know how to use uh, WinSCP or OpenSSH, well, with it anyway. Put the ROMs, and I'm going to put this link on my video, um, uh, this, this really good ROMs kind of website you can download it really fast really easy just select which ones there's like 400 and, no 912 sorry it's like 4, 912 of them is loads um, just click on any random one whatsoever there might be adverts skip it and then just gonna go through what you want if you want metal gear 2 I think that's Metal Gear Solid anyway. Uh, so might as well get a good one. I'll no, just get that one. Okay. Metal Gear 2. Open. You don't, need, you don't need to use WinRAR for this, it's just... That's what I usually use anyway. You're going to need to just um, use any extraction tool whatsoever. Some they may come as a um, folder, but in the folder, first to show you, the ROM is there. So extract to wherever you want to, desktop, close that. Well done. And here it is, drag it there. Delete that. Put this in my folder, I don't want to bother, I'm just going to show you clearly. Then you're going to go to, um, no, no, not yet first. Okay, now you're in WinSCP, we're going to private up here. VAR Mobile, which is here Media Then you right click, new dictionary, call it ROMs Well, I'm not going to go make them one Just like that, R, capital R, capital O, capital M and lowercase s In there you're going to make NES just like we've done the iPod, capital M, capital E, capital S Right click, new, yeah Okay, that's it. And also for PSX, this also works for PSX, amazingly. So just put in PSX for iPhone in Cydia and search and it should be there. There you go, and there's some previously you got. Previously you've got, sorry. I'm going to drag it into there. Copy. Pretty messages come up saying yes, no, or whatever. Just click on yeah, it should be fine. There you go, you can terminate if you want, it's up to you. Now let's go back to my iPod. Wherever you have saved, wherever your NES emulator is, you're going to go to that. So about this, it's going very slow at the moment. Better not crash. Well, anyway, you just go into your NES, I'll just explain it. You go into your NES emulator, so you can see a bit of it here. Then there should be a list, like in your contacts, and then you just select which one. Um, well, sorry about this, but it's not going to show show you, but... Will it? No, oh well, but anyway, that's the whole point. It's easy, quite simple, just go into that. Anyway, see you for now. Bye.